Hi guys, welcome to a, another video. And before you all think I've straight piped my exhaust system, decats and all the rest and spits flames, unfortunately that's not the case. Something a bit less dramatic than that. But for the relatively low cost and the very fact that you can just switch it all back to standard with the flick of a button, uh, makes it something that for me is worthwhile. Might be worthwhile for you guys as well. So. What I've actually done is fitted this C43 AMG with a, an exhaust valve module kit, basically. Um, if you have absolutely no idea about the exhaust system on you know, most performance cars, their background, cars fitted with performance exhaust, they've generally got some sort of control over the valve system. Um, I can't remember if it's Mercedes or BMW, it's, you know, they, they call them Valvetronic exhaust systems. What they do basically is when you under hard acceleration and when you go past uh, a certain RPM the, there are flaps in the exhaust which kind of open up and allow you know, they allow more air to pass through and you end up with a louder noise. Now in a car, you know, any car like this with a performance exhaust button you can keep everything quite tame um, and then you know in the louder exhaust modes you know the, the, the flaps will kind of stay open for longer and you know you can kind of control it with a button down here but generally between kind of zero and three thousand rpm the flaps will ever only ever open to about kind of 70 percent even if you accelerate hard whereas with this exhaust module it kind of bypasses that and leaves them open at 100 percent from kind of zero rpm onwards and you know this isn't specific to ac43 it's, you can do this with so many different types of cars so long as you've got a valvetronic exhaust system with the performance exhaust button in your car somewhere so if you don't have performance exhaust c43 you can't actually uh, install this module another thing that i've noticed uh, i don't know how well you'll pick it up on the uh microphone you get a lot more turbo wash with it as well that I've noticed now I don't that might be something to do with the fact that they open up at 100% earlier but yeah it's just it's a deep I'm in fourth gear now doing 30 miles an hour and it's just a deeper growl which you didn't get before so even just with such light throttle input so I'm at below 2000 rpm and I definitely hear a lot more sound and you know if I pop back into comfort you know, I've not touched the exhaust button or anything like that and it's still just as loud but anyway any everything is controlled by kind of this if I wanted to so valves are open I can shut them completely everything's very very quiet you know so if you are trying to creep in late at night or anything like that you can do it in uh, relative incognito mode and then you know if I wanted to just to highlight the effects instantly louder You don't really get more this is a car i've got that uh what is it ppf petrol particulate filter in in this car like with pretty much all new performance cars so you know it, it does kill the sound a bit more so you don't necessarily get more pops and crackles you just get more of a, a throatier growl lower down the rpm which means you get to enjoy the car a little bit more when you're just kind of driving around town which is basically how you're going to drive the car most of the time you're not going to be ragging it all the time and for myself, what I actually quite like is some convenience options, really. I switch between driving modes quite a lot, from Sport Plus to Comfort. Um, and obviously, every time I switch back to Comfort, the car's programmed to kind of put the exhaust into quiet mode. Uh, whereas with the module, it's got like a, a remember setting. So even if you step out of the car, come back the next day and everything, you'll remember the last setting that the exhaust was on. And just means it's always in kind of you know the, the loud mode without having to press the button which is you know I'm lazy so I mean it doesn't 
so that's another positive I mean like I said it, it's not going to transform your exhaust as though you've got you know a proper exhaust modification but for myself you know I, I finance cars so I only keep them for a couple of you know two to three years so I don't really want to invalidate warranty insurance and all you know things like that I don't want the hassle of it so this is you know really kind of easy do-it-yourself method um, that's kind of you know you can't really detect it it's not really harmful to anything really Yeah, the car just sounds a lot more growly lower down the RPM range, which is you know how you drive 90% of the time. The pops and crackles, I feel like I'm noticing more, but that could be in my head, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but you get a bit more turbo wash. If you are interested in something like this, it's called the, the ASR module. Um, Rentec do something very, very similar. If anything, if actually it's just a, the exact same thing, but repackaged, but with a, a Rentec price, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, you know, a, a Rentec's prices, or anywhere you see these kind of modules for more than like three, four hundred pounds, it, then it's not worth it. Um, if you're interested, you want to know a bit more, send me a DM on Instagram or leave a comment down below and uh, yeah, I'll see if I can hook you up with one. The company that I went with uh, is based in Germany, shipped to me from Germany. Everything's kind of, I mean, their website's all in German, so that makes it a little bit harder, but you know, chuck on Google Translate. But yeah, like I said, it's German made, so it works. You get two fobs, both do exactly the same thing. You basically got three modes, We've got 100% open, 100% closed, and then the third button is to put the car back to standard. So, you know, if you press the, the exhaust button, it kind of behaves how it would normally behave. Works across all driving modes. All right, let's try it out here. have it guys a quick fairly you know small and subtle exhaust modification got some cosmetic mods coming uh, very soon uh, so stay tuned for those also stay tuned for the Tesla model 3 collection which is going to be happening on uh, it depends when this video goes up uh, probably in a few days time on Tuesday and as always guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one